So the question that many people would like an answer to is why has no typhoon made landfall in Taiwan for so long? Actually, it's not so long, it's just three to four years. More than 1,500 days. Ridiculous. And uh, but, but what I think is, is the possibilities, only the statistics things. Because uh, in average, every year in Taiwan, three to four typhoon landfall tai Taiwan directly. In the last three to four years, still have lots of typhoon hit Taiwan, but not the center of the trajectory hit Taiwan directly. And why is it important for the center of a typhoon to make landfall in Taiwan? So, so near the uh, center of the typhoon, we, or the center of the trajectory of Taiwan, landfall Taiwan means lots of disaster. So we care about this. But in the last three to four years, no center of the typhoon hit Taiwan directly. So you say that Taiwan has historically seen about three to four uh, typhoons on average. Is there anything to do with climate change here that has meant that for the past four years there haven't been that many? The climate change things, I think right now, no. Because uh, from the IPCC AR6 reports, they mention in the future, maybe 2050 or 2100 uh, 100 years, the typhoon will go north. Mobile Taiwan go north. That means go to the Japan, Korea, or north of the China in the future, but not right now. And so we just saw Typhoon Kanun uh, go wildly in another direction. Uh, why do typhoons tend to veer away from Taiwan? Is there any reason? The Pacific High Pressure System is just like an elephant, very huge elephant, dominate the the weather in West Pacific. So the the position of the high pressure system uh, dominate the trajectory of the typhoon. So the canoe is very uh, interesting. This Sunday, that shows the typhoon will hit Shanghai directly. And by next day, turn north, 90 degree triangle. And the uh, next two days shows is 135 degree triangle. <laughs> because another pressure system from the China move uh, north. So we will have two systems. One is the high pressure system, is the big elephant. Another elephant is uh, from the mainland China. It's another high pressure system. So that high pressure system dominates the canoe typhoon. Another issue is the short term forecast. For example, we all know the typhoon, we shall make more warning for the people to help them to re reduce the disaster. Why are the typhoons creating all these disasters? Are they getting more intense? Climate change is a big issue. So the, when the, we say the global warming, that means the, the, the sea level, sea temperature will going up, and that means the typhoon they will get more energy in the future. So the intensity of the typhoon will be stronger uh, in the future. All of the IPCC report that means in the future in Taiwan we will meet more strong typhoon in the future. Uh, global warming, sea level rise, sea uh, temperature going up and also the El Nino events to link together. And finally, what are the chances of a typhoon or a tropical storm making landfall on Taiwan this year? But by my experience, the record of the typhoon, they, there is no record about three years, no landfall records. So I think this year, Taiwan, we still, we should prepare something for the strong typhoon because I think by mathematics, by statistics, I think we will have a strong typhoon hit Taiwan.